everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a what we are packing for the baby to go on a holiday video. So for those of you that have seen my channel before, um, I have a little boy, his name is Finn, he's six months old. This is the first time that we've been on holiday abroad, so we're going to Cyprus for two weeks on Tuesday. And that's the great thing about this video is that I'm going to post it on Sunday and we don't go till Tuesday morning. So if you think that I'm missing anything massive, please comment down below and I will Amazon Prime it to my door instantly. This has been a bit of a logistical nightmare. Last year, the years of yore where we went on holiday just took two of us, it was all about, oh, have I packed the cheese pushes? Have I got enough bikinis? Have I got a caftan? All of those things. This year, it's like an absolute military operation because the fear that you will forget something that your baby needs or that you can't buy out there or that you will just get absolutely stranded and the baby will be bereft and you won't be able to soothe them is massive and I didn't really know where to start. There isn't a lot of stuff online as to what to pack and specifically what to pack in your hand luggage. So I'm going to do a whole separate video on that. This is what we're taking in a suitcase for him to go on holiday um, and there's a couple of bits that aren't included that I'm going to list off at the end um, because my mum has taken them top tip if you've got a person who's also traveling with you that has baggage allowance get them to take things as well um but i was really stuck as to what to take in my hand luggage in terms of could i take bottles could i take formula um could i take hot water how many bottles could i take how long would the bottles be safe to be made up for what if we were delayed all that sort of thing um and for those of you that follow me on instagram stories i had a bit of a negative experience with a health visitor who basically told me that i should just breastfeed um and it was my own fault of a bottle feeding as to why i had this sort of issue in the first place but I'll go into that in a separate video um, and I'm going to do that video after we come back from holiday because I want it to be super useful and let you know exactly what we did use and I'll mention what we did use in terms of this stuff as well. Um, but I want to have the intel and information as to going through security and what worked for us and what didn't. So in terms of packing in Finn's suitcase, um, because he's an infant, he doesn't get any baggage allowance other than the 10 kilograms of the pram. We are taking the pram. We are taking my mum's pram, which is the mama's and papa's armadillo, which um collapses with one hand and it's just super easy. We've got the Jules Day 2 which is just a bit bigger and it's, it's not as easy to collapse. Um, we've also got a pram bag to put the pram in so that it doesn't get bashed about under the plane. You know, you see like the plane baggage handlers throwing things around and we didn't really want that because it's quite a nice pram, my mum's going to use it. I will start by showing you what we've packed. I've probably packed too much and then I'll include the things that we haven't got here that my mum's got and you can see if you think that I've packed the right stuff or if you think I am missing anything because I am absolutely petrified that I'm going to get there and we're not going to be able to buy something that he needs or that I'm going to have left something that is the only thing that will comfort him and I'm just going to be the world's worst mother. That's not even including the fact that it's a four and a half hour plane journey and I am petrified that it's going to screw the whole way and I'm just going to be glared at by strangers. So let's get started and see if I have included the right things. So starting with sleeping, I am taking two sleeping bags, which might seem odd. This is a one and a half tog sleeping bag from the White Company. And this is a sheet sleeping bag, which I've mentioned before in my Jojo video. Um, I did a Jojo haul, I'll link it down below. It is just a sheet. Now, the place that we're staying in is a villa in Cyprus. It's, we've got our own villa, which is very lucky. My mum and dad hire it the same one every year. So I'm familiar with it and I know that there is air conditioning in this villa. So the rooms will be air conditioned, which is why I'm taking the slightly higher tog bag because it could get potentially a little bit chilly at night and I want to make sure that he's got the right tog sleeping bag. Two togs of sleeping bag, maybe if he's napping during the day, he doesn't like just to sleep in his vest or his sleep suit, so he does like to have something on him, and that is literally just a sheet like we would go if we were going to Spain, we would just, you know, sleep under a sheet. So taking both of those. Then moving on to clothes, these are all of the clothes that I'm taking, and um, I have got some shorts and t-shirts up there, um, but I'm not taking many because people have said to me that in the day they'll literally just in a nappy or a sun hat and a swimming costume, and then at night um, they're sort of in bare bones as well because it is really humid. I'm taking his Mott Mother Made dungarees that I got from Make On and Pip which is like our favourite shop and it's run by such a lovely lady called Lucy. And um, These are really cool, they're really sort of thin material, they're huge so that they're really airy and I usually don't put a vest underneath them so he can just have a nappy on and this to play in. These are the best thing ever invented which is the zip up onesie. I've actually got it in three to six months which still fits in and six to nine months. From the White Company they are 100% cotton, they've got open legs so that's why they're still fitting him after all this time. They are just the easiest things to work on. I might put him in this to travel in maybe because it's just super simple to change him in uh, another little 
cute summer outfit from the white company this has poppers on it but again it's got no feet and short sleeves again white company i believe we are seeing a theme here um just a stripy one uh this cute thing which i will iron um from mamas and papas which is just a little play suit um i really like one with elephant on from john lewis and then a romper from mamas and papas that's really cool actually and really light so they're all that i'm taking to be honest i don't even think he's going to wear this much it's kind of like when you take for yourself and you take 14 going out dresses and you only ever wear two um but yeah and then i'm just taking two little pairs of shorts as separate one from mamas and papas and one from I don't know. I think this one, Mamas and Papas, as well. I think both Mamas and Papas. Um, and then this cute little vest for Mamas and Papas. Uh, I don't know where this came from because it was a gift before I was born from my friend Nia. Um, but just a nice little botanical, very sort of holiday esque t shirt. And this again from Acorn and Pip, which is a black vest, which I think makes them look really cool. Sticking with the theme of clothes, then I am also taking these two identical wetsuits from the White Company. They just have little feet um, to protect them. They're UV suits as well. So he will be protected from the sun and they zip up. Super good. Uh, these amazingly cute trunks from Jojo, which I presume the Happy Nappy, which is this, will go underneath. Or maybe just a swim nappy will be fine. I'm taking both just in case. This flappy hat. Now, I have voiced my opinion on flappy hats before I had a baby. I was really not a fan of them. But I do see the point of them now. They do protect your little one's neck from the sun. Um, so this is like a neoprene sort of hat from Jojo that you can wear. It's waterproof, so you can wear it in the pool. I do have a matching bucket hat to these trousers and the happy nappy from Jojo as well, which might be quite useful. And then two sort of like canvas hats importantly one with a strap underneath because he has recently learnt how to take a hat off and isn't very keen on them so tends to do that on a regular basis. I am also packing our grow egg because of the air conditioning situation. I want to know if it's really hot and I also want to know if it's too cool for him in the room so that I know how many layers to put on him at night and um, this has been really useful. I did think it was going to be a bit of a gimmick but actually we've used it every single day. And then I have two different kinds of baby insect repellent we have the Ignito Anti-Mosquito, this is the spray, and then I also have a roll-on just in case he's not keen on the spray. Um, I really don't want to get stung by mozzies, and I am one of those people that mozzies absolutely love to devour, so I'm hoping he doesn't carry that gene that I've got. Uh, this is just a little one for the baby bag, but we are taking back to 50 Sun Cream. This is the Garnier version, the Ambre Solaire, but we are actually taking two massive things of Pitts Booing, which seems to work really well for us it's not specifically formulated for children or babies but he has absolutely loved that one in terms of his skin not reacting to it he does have quite sensitive little skin and everything else sort of gives him red patches or makes him greasy and these two seem to be the ones that work for us so that one's just literally for my hand language so i've got one there we are taking his ambisol um because he is teething like crazy at the moment this stuff is potent i have been using bongella but it just didn't seem to be enough if you put this on your own gums you can't feel them for a good three hours so that is a top tip just one of many mam dummies that we're taking you can sterilize them in the little pot so they are absolutely perfect for taking on the go he's not overly reliant on them but it does help if he's crying um so i'm taking lots of these on the plane little swimmers swim nappy from huggies because obviously you can't wear normal nappies in the pool and he does plan to be in there quite a lot um, I'm taking a pack of Pampers. I know I'll be able to buy them out there, um, but I'm going to take one pack just in case. Similarly with his SMA, I know for a fact that the Cypress supermarkets that I've been to sell this, but I am just taking one. So we've got one as soon as we get there. If we get delayed and we get there at like three o'clock in the morning and all the shops are closed, at least I know that I've got a tin. These I am taking, despite the fact that he hates them, because his eyes do need to be protected from the sun. I am a cruel mother and they are ridiculously cute. They are sunglasses and they have UV protection, again from Jojo. And this, which is the snooze shade. I've mentioned it before. This is really great because I think it was started by a mum, this company, and you basically just hook it over the pram uh, when they're having a little sleep. Not only does it black out the pram for you, but it protects them from the sun and it keeps them cool because it's got little ventilation holes in it as well. So that is definitely coming with us. Then I'm taking the sling. This is the Izmi Carrier. Um, we've had this since he was about six weeks old. He absolutely loves it. If he struggles to settle, if you just whack him in this, it's perfect and I just think it'll be fab for transporting him to the beach or for short distances where he'll be able to see and he doesn't really want to go in the pram because it might be a little bit hot. 
I am taking a number of toys, but these specifically because he's teething so badly at the moment. This is, I think it's the Matchstick Monkey, um, and you can just put a little bit of cooling gel like Bongello on there and give it him to chew. He absolutely loves that. Similarly with Sophie La Giraffe, just because she's called Sophie and so am I. Um, he has figured out how to use her recently, so I'm definitely taking Soph. I am also taking a little blanket for the plane because I don't know about you, but I always get absolutely freezing on planes um, and I want to make sure that he's warm and comfortable. This is really nifty. This is from Jojo and it is a portable high chair. So you literally just whack a bit of the material over the top of a normal chair and it ties around his waist and sort of holds him in place. Really useful little bit of kit. And we are also taking the Jojo my man, baby. Oh God, I hate that name. I wish they'd make it shorter. Um, UV tent so that he can have a little play outside and still be protected and it does stay cool. So things that we are taking that Nanny is packing so they aren't here. The Jojo Maman Baby Pool, which again I've used in my How to Keep a Baby Cool in Summer video, which I'll link down below. Um, that has a little canopy over it, so we'll be able to fill it with like a little bit of the pool water to keep him cool. And he can paddle in that because there is just a big pool, there's not like a nursery pool or anything like that. Bottles, obviously, um, and I'm going to take a couple of like weaning spoons and stuff because he is weaning at the moment. Calpol, always an essential one, and I've got little sachets of Calpol to put in my hand luggage just in case he needs that in the plane because he's got little hurty ears. Crib sheets, they do have a travel cot, but I am just a little bit weird about taking our own crib sheets. I wanted to take our own travel cot, to be honest. We're not taking a car seat because the cars that we've rented have car seats included, which is very useful. Um, so if you are going to rent a car, make sure that you ask if they have car seats available. I will let you know how good they are. Usually the car hire in Cyprus is, is excellent. But if you're going to a country where it's not so good and the cars are known to be a little bit dodgy, then the car seats might be as well and I would take my own. But we've used this firm quite a few times and I know they are really reputable. Um, like I said, we are taking the pram as well, um, so that will be really useful. We can take that right up to the gate at the um, airport, which I think is fab because I don't know if we're going to be delayed. I don't know how long we're going to be in there. He'll be able to nap in there and everything, so that is really, really good. Um, I am taking a cool bag with his bottles in, but again, I'll mention that in the hand luggage video um, that I do when we get back. So, I think, fingers crossed, that's everything. Obviously, I'll come back and say, oh my God, I should have taken this. If there is anything glaring, please comment down below. You've got 24 hours to save me before I get on that plane and I'm lost forever with an absolutely breath baby. So yeah, there won't be a video for the next two weeks because I can't take my giant laptop on holiday with me. It's too big and it's too old to edit, but I'm going to be filming loads of content while I'm in Cyprus. Um, holiday content, weaning content as well. I might even take my exercise gear and do like an outdoor pre and postnatal exercise video for you guys. If that's something that you're interested in, please comment down below and I will definitely do that for you. So yeah, wish me luck. By the time you come back, hopefully I will be tanned and relaxed and uh, not at my wits end because my baby's been an absolute nightmare on holiday. I think it's going to be fine. One thing that I am going to do is there's a mo mother care out there and I think I might buy like a play mat when we get out there because I just don't know where to put him and I hope there's a high chair. I'm hoping those two things are there. If they're not, I might just have to go and buy a cheap one for my gear. Yeah. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.